Evan. Hi, we're here at MathWorks. Uh, we are here because uh, Premier Farnell is going to be supporting MATLAB and Simlink software packages globally. Um, and of course, both of those packages support the Raspberry Pi as one of the hardware platforms for simulation of, of, uh, of systems and so on. This is great. What, is it, what do you reckon it means for uh, bringing forward the, uh, the Pi agenda? Well, I think this is a wonderful example of um, kind of using the Pi, certainly um, the remote mode stuff that we've got going on here is a wonderful example of using the Pi in a way that's very different from how we'd originally envisaged it. So yeah, we don't, we've always thought of the Pi as a standalone system, something that's often going to be plugged into a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard and just used as a regular PC for education. Um, in this, in this particular context with this, this, this chap here, we've got the Pi being used primarily as a, a data acquisition and, uh, and, and drive board you know, for, for, you know, for, for reading data from sensors and controlling actuators out in the real world, um, slaved to a, to, a, you know, to a remote PC running a copy of MATLAB. Um, obviously, you can also deploy stuff down onto the device itself, but it's just kind of another example of uh, the way in which people are finding things to do with the Pi, which I think are a little bit different uh, from what we'd envisaged, but that also still bears on that kind of educational mission that we originally set out to have. Yeah, that external mode, uh, I understand it means that the, um, the, the Pi can run quite sophisticated algorithms, probably way more than you might have envisage as you, as you say. Yeah, so I hope we're going to see this little fella do his, uh, do his stuff in a little while. Yeah, I think we've got a sequence of demos coming up which will be, which will be uh, great. But you've, you've used MATLAB and Simulink in the past and I think you know, a lot of my engineering professional uh, colleagues have as well. So do you think that means that the Pi will be more widely adopted into professional circles as well? Yeah, I think it's obviously there's an educational angle, particularly university educational angle. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's just another route that people can take. Over the last year, we've seen people using the Pi more and more in uh, embedded industrial applications, using it as a component in other products. So giving engineers a chance to use you know a tool that they're very familiar with with this you know new. You know, low cost embedded computing platform that's really um, it's good news for everyone. Right? It's wonderful. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have a look at some demos. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Awesome. Cheers.